Hi. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, transport trailer dolly legs. Uh, their biggest demise, of course, is water and moisture. Uh, they sit behind uh, three axles or more with all the spray off the road. And how often do you see them in the winter time? And, and the dolly legs are just covered in snow. Um, and here's a perfect example. This is basically a brand new Holland Mark V. And look at the water in there. Uh, so the next time that that got used, the water gets emulsified in the grease. And the grease goes everywhere. And um, through oxidation, everything rusts. So everything binds up. Um, and that's only the, the pinion and crown gear there, uh, let alone the gearbox, which look at the water that come out of it, right? So anyways, I'll show you uh, um, same type Holland Mark V. And I hauled, that w it was level to the flange with brown, grease and you can see the thrust bearing is is uh, not clean at all and it's gritty looking and and here, here's the gears that come out of it right and here's another one that I taken apart as well which wasn't too bad but look at the the rust on the on the screw right and that's all because of over greasing um, over greasing is the the biggest problem with uh, dolly legs um, because of the fact that it doesn't allow moisture to get out and I'll show you what I mean and with this piece this is this is the no oh, no sorry wrong one this is the top of the leg see here there's a drain hole you let the water go out but if the water doesn't get out at the top of the leg, this is the outer, outer leg. I'm showing you a complete assembly. Um, and like grease just doesn't pass water very well. So the biggest problem with dolly legs is the fact that people over grease them. And what they should be doing is when they're new, uh, there are some models that have a a, a plug in the top, a quarter inch plug. Um, none of these have it. I don't think, no. But um, uh, even if you have to, take the, the top zerk out, because the bottom zerk serves no purpose at all other than just spill grease down and the bottom of the leg, and it just. <sighs> um, and drill it out. Um, and every shop has uh, either 50 weight synthetic or a um, you know a GX uh, 80 weight 90 gear oil uh, something like that. That's something that's that's fairly um, thick and can protect the gears because uh, grease doesn't protect the gears if it's loaded with water and it starts to rust. And um, fact of the matter is, is that, um, you know, at, you know, by the time you uh, replace a set of dolly legs because they're seizing up or uh, just, you know, become hard to uh, shift gears even in the gearbox, if you have one that, you know, it's a, you know, you pull in or pull, pull, pull towards you to put into second gear or low gear or, you know, vice versa. Um, you get too much grease in there and you can't move the gear, especially in cold weather. So what people should be doing is uh, grease them once a year. And all the other times is uh, dump in three, four ounces of uh, some 
GX8890 or uh, a 50 um, weight synthetic transmission oil or something like that, something that's good that will displace moisture and and uh, protect the, the steel surfaces from corrosion. So that's uh, Dolly Leg Maintenance 101. And uh, if you think I'm wrong, I think you better think again. Okay? Anyways, talk to you later. Bye.